won't he well it, he won't win the round since we're, we're supposed to win. Mission completed. All enemies have been eliminated. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on the game Area F2. Area F2 is basically a brand new mobile game that's in closed beta at the moment, which takes factors from Rainbow Six Siege, which is an incredible game, and this game is just amazing. It's the first ever mobile tactical 5v5 shooter, and if you haven't downloaded it, make sure you do right now. The game is fully optimized, it's got a lot of hype, and I'm going to be making a lot more videos on it. I'm going to be showing you tips, tricks, hints, cheats, every single thing in the game. So if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you hit a like on the video, be subscribed for future videos on Area F2, and drop a little comment down below and let me know exactly how you're getting on with the game. So in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what the game is about. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Yeah, boy! Yeah, baby, girl, you're so damn fine, though. Wanna know if I can hear that from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press rewind, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. Okay, so welcome back, guys. So it, I'm so excited because this game is just incredible. I've been playing it for the last few days, and I'm really telling you right now, you need to download it. It is uh, well, basically an exact copy of Rainbow Six Siege for mobile, but it's so crisp, it's so smooth. And basically, I'm just going to break down exactly what it is for you guys. So starting off, it's basically just a 5v5 shooter. Uh, in Area 52, it's the first close quarters battle, uh, a.k.a. Uh, CQB shooting game on mobile. Uh, there's there's been no others like this, um, so this is very unique. Um, players basically fight in an ultra-realistic environment as an attacker or a defender. Uh, you play as one of a wide selection of agents, each with their own skill and special abilities. Um, all roofs and walls can be reinforced or destroyed, so you can pr pretty much destroy anything in the game. You can literally poke a hole in the wall and you can shoot someone through it. So it's very accurate. You have to have good gun skills and good accuracy in this game. Uh, like I said, it comes with 20 agents uh, with exclusive gadgets, uh, each based on real-life special forces. You can set up machine guns, you can lay down suppressing fire, you can destroy walls. You've even got explosive crossbow bolts, uh, but we'll, we'll leave that to a later video. Um, it's really realistic. The scenes they come in like three dimensional uh, realistic environments uh, they're fully destructible like i already said you can deploy drones you can gather intelligence it's got ranked it's got leaderboards it's got everything in a game we've got friends list we've got everything so i'm so excited to show you this game guys so let's get into the lobby screen and show you uh, just some features of the game so here we have the lobby screen of Area F2. It looks very crisp. It's got a nice cinematic background as well. Uh, for you guys that are actually wanting to download this game and are struggling to download to find the download link, I'm going to include a couple of download links in the description so you can go there, click on it, and, uh, and download the APK. It's a bit more confusing on iOS, but I'll make a future video and I'll show you how to download it on both iOS and Android after this video. Um, so I'm basically just going to break down the lobby. So we have a pretty standard lobby, similar to most other mobile games like Call of Duty Mobile and other sort of uh, games, PUBG Mobile. Um, but this one is uh, it's very unique. Um, it's not over cluttered with stuff. Now, a lot of the other mobile games usually clutter ads and everything like that. This game is very, very simple to get used to. I don't know if they'll release more ads in the future. Um, we're going to start in the top left, though. You can basically create your own character. You can add your own avatar. Uh, it shows how many days you've played. It shows how many matches you've played. I've only played eight at the moment, which isn't that many. Uh, but you can basically change your name. You've got your ID that you can add your friends with. You've got all of your statistics. Um, mine's an average of 2.6 kills with a 1.4 KD. I really need to freaking improve on that. Um, but yeah, that's basically the uh, the sort of statistics and the uh, the game in the top left. So we've also got just under that um, an agent pack. Now I'm going to go into the shop first, which you'll find just behind me. Now the shop um, is relatively cheap. It is relatively cheap. Before I go into the shop, I'll actually show you how much it is to buy uh, what they call them coupons on this game, which are basically diamonds or like I said, coins in other games. Um, but it's relatively cheap. I noticed one of the cheapest options is $11.99 
uh, and you get like almost 2,500 coupons, um, which is relatively cheap. And if we go back to the uh, the actual game, look at this, 70 coupons just to buy uh, a daily special bundle. If you want to buy this character right here, this character face mask, it's 339. So it's very, very cheap to buy um, coupons on this game and to be able to buy packs. Unlike Call of Duty Mobile, where they usually charge a hell of a lot, this game is going to be good because it's very, very cheap for you guys. So, um, again, we've got different packs. We'll save that for later. Uh, just under shop, we have supplies. Now, supplies, uh, as you can see right here, um, uh, uh, different sort of supplies. You can get, uh, like I said, a P90 freaking golden skin right here. You can get a, this... FNG amazing skin right there. You can get a brand new uh, golden shield for when you're using the shield in the game. Um, so that's very, very cool. Now, secondly, or thirdly, we're going to get into agents. So there's a total of 20 agents on this game. You start out with Volcano, Magnet, Spitfire, and Swamp. Each one has their own uh, sort of unique abilities. Um, one of my favorites to use is Spitfire. Um, as you can see, we're just looking at Spitfire's stats here. He has a total of three armor. He has one speed and one difficulty. Difficulty means it is basically how easy it is to use a character. Um, his nickname is Yevon Voronin. Uh, his, well, sorry, his nickname is Spitfire, but his actual name is Yevon Voronin. Um, and yeah, you can basically, I mean, just look, look at, look at the, the detail and stuff of this game. It's very, very smooth. Everything is so smooth on it. Um, you can actually switch between all four people just here and show, uh, well, you can see exactly what every single agent does and what their unique ability is. Magnet, for instance, attacker. She uses an EMP grenade to destroy electronics and disable enemy cameras and crosshairs. She's got two armor, two speed, and she's easy to use. Um, you can see uh, your loadouts of each character as well. Each character and agent has a different primary weapon, secondary weapon, gadget, and ga uh, gadget A and gadget B. Um, you can see exactly behind me how much damage they do, firing rates, and everything. Um, but I will go into agents on a future video, guys. I'm basically this video is just to show you exactly what the game's like. So uh, we've got events as well. Um, looks like they've got some sort of login reward. I'm just going to claim this login reward right here. A new agent lightning I just unlocked uh, for playing it for a total of two days, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, I don't know how you actually get off this. Let me uh, let me figure that out. There we go. So we're off that now. Uh, yeah, so we've got free supplies. You can get Vanguard Ops. Again, this is all very confusing starting off because this is supposed to be a tutorial video, but... Yeah, I'm going to save that for a future video. So on the right hand side, we have uh, notices so you can see all the regular updates that are happening in the game. Um, we have a friends list as well. You can add your Facebook friends and you can link your Facebook to it. You can add normal friends as well. I've got a few friends already. Uh, just below that, you have leaderboards so we can actually grind leaderboards. Jace at the top right now has played 181 ranked matches. He's got 86% win rate, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have missions where you can claim gold coins uh, and basically gold coins uh, you can buy uh, even more stuff with I've got 3475 at the moment um, you can top up any amount and you can get this cool wolf character but I'm literally just over explaining this so I'm gonna hop into a game well actually I'm gonna show you to get the actual uh, game modes first so we have when you first start off on the game, uh, you have Rookie, Casual, Room, and Boot Camp. So Boot Camp is no level restriction. You can basically train. It's like a tutorial if you want to practice the game and get used to it. Uh, we've got Room, which we've got custom games. You can create your own custom game with people, uh, which is amazing how they've made that free straight away. Um, you've got Casual as well, which is no level restrictions between people. Um, and it's all modes and all maps and then rookie uh, which is not showing now because I'm too far ahead in the game Rookie is a level one to five level cap restriction So, you know, you're only play against uh, characters that are only your level and it's only got one map and one mode so uh, The game's awesome. It is absolutely incredible I'm gonna hop into a game now and explain some sort of features of the game. Let's go Okay, so before I actually hop into a game, guys, I'm actually just probably going to go into boot camp. I'm going to show you here. There are a total of four maps. We have Cargo Dock, Mexico Mansion, Russian Station, and Hot Springs. And you can either decide to be an attacker or a defender. Basically, the main objective of the game is if you start as an attacker, you have to plant a bomb on the defender's uh, position. And once you planted that and you, you bomb it off, you win, basically. And it's first to three uh, points. Um, 
between each game. So I'm going to hop into Cargo Dock right now, and I'm basically just going to show you what this game's like. So we're going to go into round one. Obviously, I'm the only team member at the moment. Uh, you can select a spawn point before you start. You've got random, main entrance, gates, and dump on this map. I'm just going to select random, um, and here we go. You can uh, select which attacker you want to pick as well. So you can either decide to be a rookie, um, which he doesn't have any special gadgets, but he can equip two general gadgets. Um, and then you've also got all of these other characters as well, but I'm going to leave those for future videos. So we're going to go in as rookie at the moment. Got your primary weapon, which you can swap between a HR416 or an MR1014 shotgun. You got your secondary a USP or a Magnum. You got explosives uh, or a smoke grenade. I'm going to go for a smoke grenade. And then you got a grenade or a flashbang. We'll go for a grenade. So. Uh, let's pop into that. Uh, the game's going to load in now, and uh, yeah, we're basically just going to show you uh, what it's like. It is really, really good, guys. So do not forget to download it. Remember to look in the description to uh, to get a download link. Now, uh, I've changed my custom layout, um, so the walking's quite slow on here, I've noticed, uh, but the game is just super smooth. One of the smoothest games. I've got it on high graphics at the moment. So as you can tell, it looks very, very crisp. Uh, so obviously you can sprint on this game as well. You can crouch. You can go prone. Uh, you can uh, peek each side, which is actually really awesome. Um, you also have a UAV, which you can start off, which is actually really useful because you can put that out. And you can basically drive around with your UAV uh, scoping enemies. You can jump with it. You can uh, get a scope before you actually... Go to the target and the objective. You can see where all these enemies are. You can go under these sort of floorboards. Uh, you can literally scope around with this. And then you can just switch back to the agent just like that. Uh, you've also got monitor as well. Uh, which basically shows you uh, different uh, cameras on the UAV. Now if we move forward. Let's just uh, let's just follow this line right here. Because I haven't actually played boot camp before. Um, and let's see exactly where it takes me. So again you can switch between your guns. Uh, so you've got wood right Right here now this sort of wood you can actually shoot down and you can melee through it so you can actually poke uh, like poke through you can sort of peek enemies as well and sort of shoot them through the gap you can actually blow these walls down with three melee hits which is cool um, and we're just gonna practice on some enemies right now so yeah the objective basically guys is to try and find the um, the objective and plant the bomb so you can peek as well which is incredible um we've got this enemy over there I'm just gonna laser him down got an enemy just here we can crouch and prone and shoot him while he pokes around the corner again you can use this to kind of practice guys which is uh, a really cool option in the game I'm just gonna grab a cola uh, i think i love that looks like a sprite yep sounds good to me um and yeah we basically just have to find the bomb uh i don't think you can actually find the bomb on here i think this boot camp is basically just a practice against enemies because there's little avatars and stuff um on the game um but yeah it's good practice if you want to hop in guys but again the main objective as i'm starting as an attacker um i basically have to try and find the objective plant the bomb if i plant the bomb or if i wipe out the whole of the other five players then you win the round uh, on the defender side, you get 30 seconds at the beginning of the game to set up traps around where the enemies can plant the bomb. And you basically just have to defend it. Uh, if you all die or if you kill all of the attackers, you win. If you all die, you lose. And you have to get first two, three. Um, so again, just let me know in the comments what you think about this game, guys. I'm loving it. So let me know in the comments what you think. So that is basically the rundown of the game. I'm going to be making a lot more videos on it. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit a like. And just drop a comment and let me know what you think. It is literally just insane. I'm going to be releasing tips on each agent to use. I'm going to be releasing some pro tips as well. Some HUD. Some best setting videos. Uh, so basically, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I hope this has been useful and helpful for you. Basically like a tutorial video. And I will see you in the next one. Yeah, boy!